So the reason why I'm censoring myself so much on this video is because this video actually got canceled back in October for hate speech, apparently. <laughs> yeah, YouTube canceled it. And I don't know if some of you guys remember or not, I wasn't able to or I didn't upload for a whole week. And the reason behind that is because my channel had a strike. Very first strike is because of this video that I'm about to talk about right now. Guys, men automatically are fundamentally better than the opposite sex right and again in my opinion there's two genders men and women that's it you can you can take your argument about 53 different genders somewhere else i honestly don't have time feelings tears or any words to argue with argue you with okay i honestly don't have time for any of that crap why is that why are we fundamentally better than them it's simple, fellas. Every single thing women have been trying to do since the 60s when the womanism movement first started and they started marching on down the road about equal pay, equal rights, and equal opportunities and all that. Every single thing that they did this for relates directly to our success. What do I mean by that? Let me elaborate. Women wanted to go to college. Well, men are already in college. Women wanted to make more money or as much money as who? As men. Women wanted to be strong and independent. Who were strong and independent? Quote unquote, strong and independent, right? Because nobody really is real strong or independent in today's world. Or even if you look into the history, people never, like humankind, this is another, another philosoph uh, philosophical idea on the side note, right? Is that humankind never really were free, strong, or, or independent, 100%, when you compare the vast majority numbers. You know, like there were some people here and there who were actually truly powerful and independent. But most of us, most people in general, and I will put myself in that boat as well because if my tenants stop paying me rent, I don't make money. So I am dependent on something, right? So most people are honestly dependent on something, some source. But that's okay. That's, there's, le there's levels to that, right? There's levels to how dependent you are or how strong you are. So we're not going to go into details on that one. So who were the quote-unquote strong and independent ones back then? Men were. Well, they wanted to be smart. They wanted to create things. Who were the smart people? Men were. Who were creating the things? Men were. See, what do all of these things, the examples that I showed you guys have in common? They want to be exactly like us. So what does that tell you? That tells you the reason behind that is because we are better than them. You don't want to be like somebody else or something else if that something or somebody holds a quality, uh, doesn't hold a quality that does, uh, sorry, if that something or somebody holds a quality or, or holds something in their possession, in its possession, that you don't want a part of. You only try to become or imitate that person or that uh, thing if that person or thing possess something that you want to achieve. We have smarts, we have logical decision-making ability, we have strength, we're physically stronger than women, right? Am I a misogynist for this? Uh, am I uh, being a misogynist for saying all that? Maybe. You think I am? Okay, let me continue then. This is nature. I didn't make men or more women. Don't hate me, I'm the messenger here. <laughs> you can blame God for that one, right? Nature made you, na sorry, nature made you in, certain, in, certain, in a different way. It made you physically weaker than me. But that doesn't mean that I have all the strengths when it comes to the human race. No, women. No, ladies. You guys have their own, the, you guys have your own set of strengths. And we men have our own set of strengths. And when you try to combine and overlap these things, that's when you run into problems. Because that's when society doesn't run efficiently. If 
I create a factory today, or if you create a factory today, and I hire two different workers in that factory, it's a very small factory. One worker is the engineer who, who has the brains to make the product I want that I want my factory to make, I want my company to make. But he doesn't have the physical strength to go out, get the, gather the materials, and chop the wood, weld the metals. He doesn't have the physical, uh, uh, the physical strength or ability to do any of that. But the other guy who I hired, he doesn't have the smarts, but he knows how to read blueprints that this engineer guy that created for him, the, the, the guy who designed this for him, all he has to do is go out and put the labor in. So if I know that these two people have strengths and weaknesses in, in these two certain areas, am I going to reverse their roles? Or am I going to say that, okay, you both do both? Am I going to tell the engineer, hey, you're going to design this and you're going to build this? And am I going to tell the builder, hey, you're going to design this and you're going to build this? No, that is absurd. Why am I going to not do that? It's because... If I, first of all, reverse the roles, my productivity is going to be zero because the engineer does not know how to build and the builder does not know how to engineer. So nobody's gonna get anything done. But if I try to overlap them and make them do both, then my productivity is gonna come, to, come from 100% to 50% efficiency because now the engineer is not gonna be able to put his whole time focusing on designing stuff. He has to split it 50-50 and build something or, or, or take his 100% attention, divide into 50 and take the other 50% and focus that into, a, uh, into an area into an area that he's not that good at. Regardless, the only way, and same thing with the vice versa with the builder, right? So regardless, the only way, or nonetheless, the only way I'll get 100% productivity out of my business out of my company is if I assign these two individuals and in where they shine the best where they do the best but we just simply can't seem to understand and grasp that simple concept in today's society it seems like as time is progressing we're going backwards we're doing things backwards now aren't we huh but for real, ladies, you guys have to sit down and take a piss. That's just sad. Every time, you know, when you're in the bathroom taking a poop as a guy, and you're peeing as well, because, you know, sometimes you're taking a poop and your pee, pee starts coming out. I don't know about you guys, but I feel kind of depressed. And every time, I, I don't know if you guys actually felt this, all right, but I have felt this. Every time I come home, it's not, it's not, it's really dark at night outside. It's nighttime, it's really dark out. And I got to go. I got to piss really bad. But I have keys in my hand and other things I'm carrying inside. And it's going to take a whole lot longer to go in and go, go to my bathroom. I always go to the side of my house and leak one out. And I stand, I'm standing there. I'm leaking it out. And I don't know what it is, fellas. I, don't, I honestly don't know. I still can't, put, I, I still can't identify this 100% to the T. But something inside of me gives me a sense of freedom, a sense of achievement that I'm standing here taking a piss. It just makes me feel good. I don't, I don't know if I'm weird or crazy or whatever. You guys know me. I speak my mind. I'll share whatever the hell it is I'll, I, that I want to share with you guys. Whatever comes in my mind to share with you guys, I'll share it with you. Right? You guys know me. I'm very authentic. I have no scripts that I go by when I make these videos, all from coming up, coming from up here, right? But honestly, like that's, that moment is a moment of pride to myself that I have with myself <laughs> for that few seconds that, that takes me to leak it all out. And I wonder if that's just me or if most guys actually feel that way. You just feel like you're a man. And when, when you're in the bathroom sitting down, and you start peeing, and you start peeing because you're in the middle of pooping, you just feel depressed, or at least I do. I, I'm like, eh, please, I gotta sit down, get out of here. I know this is a little bit of a gross topic, whatever. 
But it's funny. You know, you got to humor this, these messages sometimes. These mes messages sometimes. You can't be serious with red pill stuff all the damn time. It can become very toxic. But yeah, you, you got to sit down to take a piss. That's just sad and depressed. <laughs> Obviously, that's a joke too, right? That's how your body was made. You have to sit down. But you guys get the idea. This is why we're fundamentally better than you. Because every single thing you do, you're trying to imitate us. You're trying to do something that has already been done by us. You want to go to the moon? Guess what? Yes, we've already been there. You want to build this? Guess what? We've already, been, we've already done that. So why don't you either A... Here's a crazy thought, right? Very, very, very crazy thought. Why don't you either A, stick with what you're better at than us, which is being a homemaker, being a mother, raising the next generation of people how they're supposed to be raised instead of this thought culture that they're being raised in today. Or create something that we haven't created already. Do something, be something, that we haven't done or we weren't already, right? Think outside the box because every single new invention that you see coming out is still being done by men. Big scientists, big doctors, big engineers in the world, big lawyers, big tech guys, big STEM field guys are still men in overwhelming numbers. The numbers are overwhelming. The ratio is overwhelming is how much men, of how much men are on these fields versus women. Don't say that you're oppressed. You're given all the opportunities, if not more, for the past 20 years. There's 200 scholarships for female student athletes in colleges versus nine for males. How do you explain that one to me? Do your own research. I don't, I'm not your mother or your father. I'm not going to feed you everything. Where did you get your, your data from? Are you really that big of an imbecile to use Google? The reason why I never give you guys the sources of where, I'm, where I find my data is because I want you to put the work in and do the research yourself. I don't want you to be a lazy bum fuck. So you can do it yourself. You're a grown man. You're grown ladies, right? You're, you, you, you guys like to say you're strong and independent, right? So put your big girl panties on. The one that's probably been uh, ran through by multiple dudes. And have holes in them by now, probably. Dudes probably made a hole in your panties and started fucking you, right? <laughs> put those on and then get to work. Every single thing, like... Explain if I like tell me if I'm wrong in this all right even in the music industry or in the entertainment industry Every single type of entertainment that you see out there that women are trying to be that were that women are trying to go into were created by a man Singing That came from men men were the first people to create music now, women are going into that field that men have already created. Acting, same thing. Men have created that. Comedy, men have created that. Ladies, if you are... A, first of all, I have yet to find a good female comedian. If you're a good-looking chick, don't even think about being a comedian. You are god-awful. You are just horrible. Your jokes absolutely suck. You talk about you being a hoe and feminism and men's rights and men are dogs that's that's literally all your jokes are about and they are freaking garbage don't even start don't even think about being a comedian okay unless you have real talent and i have yet to see one who has one writer uh script writer songwriter all these positions that in the entertainment business fighting that's a that's in the entertainment business yeah Sports, most of these sports, they're all played and invented and done by men. So you're literally trying to be a man. You want to go get the bag. You want to get the college degree. Things that men have put the system in the society for. Men have put this system in the society of going to college, 
getting a degree, getting a job. That system that we follow was created by men. Men were the one who was doing it first. And you're literally exactly following, uh, you're literally following that exact same blueprint. You're literally trying to be like us. We don't, you don't see us trying to be like you, do you? You don't see us, I mean, yeah, we do see a lot of pussified men in this society, but that's a different story because we're there being raised by single mothers. So they're auto automatically, the, the nurture system is automatically putting them at a disadvantage. That's why they're, they're acting out like women. But what I'm trying to say is that do you see men wanting to be like a housewife? Have you ever seen that anywhere? I haven't. Tell himself that... Again, that's not to confuse with a stay-at-home dad. Most likely, that dad probably didn't have a choice. Because he was lazy or whatever. But do you see men say that, oh, no, I don't want to be a doctor. I don't want to be an engineer. I want to be a housewife. My nigga, what? Do you, do you see men say that, oh, I want to be a knitter. I want to learn how to knit. Do you see men say that, oh, I want to learn how to cook. I mean, there are some good chefs out there who are men most good chefs in the world are men I'm talking about in vast majority of numbers vast majority of men do you do you see that these vast majority of men out here are trying to do the quote unquote traditional form or traditional women's work the housework raising the children work no because we don't give a shit about being a woman because we are better than you. We can raise the kids if we didn't have any choice but to do it ourselves. We would be just fine doing it. We will figure it out. We definitely would figure out how to cook, how to clean. We would figure all of that out. We probably wouldn't be as efficient as you are because you're good at multitasking, ladies. That's one of your strengths. That's why, and, and it does take a lot of multitasking ability to do this homework stuff, the home chore stuff, at, at home, household ch uh, chores. And that's why you guys are better at it than us. So yeah, we probably wouldn't be as efficient, like how I was given the example of my company earlier. But we'll figure it out. And what do you see is happening? While women are trying to be like men, it's not working out. One in four women is on... Um, not one in four women. Most uh, patients who take antidepressant are women. Women are unhappy as hell. Women are single than ever that than they have ever been before. They're going out and hopping from one dude one dude's bed to the next dude, next dude's bed because they were told that men sleep around a lot so again we're back to that that main point of that video which is women are trying to be exactly like men so they told themselves okay so if men can sleep around so can we okay what is the aftermath you're the number one consumer of antidepressant that's the aftermath see men the amount of men who are taking antidepressant didn't go up a whole lot. Because it's in our DNA to spread our seed and sleep with whoever we want. It doesn't destroy us. It doesn't make us damaged mentally. Because that's how our biological imperative was programmed. That's how we were programmed. But it destroys you. Again, another thing why we're better than you. And YouTube couldn't stand this message, could they now, huh? <laughs> Am I a misogynist, an a-hole, ugly, single, gay? I have heard, like, there's not a single word in the book that I haven't heard. I have yet to hear, I have yet to hear, right? And, and guess what? I still have over 400 videos on my channel. What does that tell you? That tells you... I honestly could give a flying fuck less. I honestly couldn't give a fuck. Uh, I honestly couldn't find a flying fuck to give about what you say about me because my work is gonna be continued. Follow me on Instagram at Zeke Peak. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and above all, stay classy.